right, we're in the spare bedroom with the rig, um, or the guest bedroom, sorry. Um, but since, you know, I had a lot of views and, and a lot of people commenting on my last video on the AMD um, overclocking in Windows, I was gonna show you how I have my, AM, my three AMD cards I have on my rig set up in Hive. Um, yeah, I have my rig pushed up against the window and sucking in cold air and getting them all dirty. But um, these are my three AMD cards here, XFX and the two MSI armors. Um, then the rest of them are 2070s. And then I have a full hash rate 3080 that I have pulled out on my PC um, because I'm out of motherboard space. But um, we'll go to the, the computer and I'll show you how I have this set up. And all right, we're back here at my computer. Uh, these are those 2070s I was telling you that I moved that 3080 out. It's pretty ghetto, but... 2070 blower models and they make uh i don't know i can show you uh what 42 and a half mega hash per and i'm mining some a little bit of sheeb uh where is it oh here it is all right so this rig is uh or these amd cards on this and i have them just on one motherboard it's been running for six days almost seven days haven't booted in 79 years too bad it wasn't 69 years and I'm at 100% accepted share rate. I'm still mining to Coinbase, but anyways, I'll change that. And those are the temperatures I get, um, you know, having that rig pushed up against the wall and it's almost 70 degrees out here. Uh, these AMD cards run pretty, uh, pretty cool compared to my 2070s. Anyways, um, this is the XFX and these are the two MSI armors. Um, 31 and a half mega hash. I could get a little bit more, a little bit over 32 mega hash per card, but I ran into a little bit of stability issues. Um, my, big, my, my biggest goal here was to keep it stable. Um, before, you know, these were running 31 mega hash was the highest I could get. Some were running at 29 um, and they were burning like 110, 115 watts at the wall. Um, you know, as it's showing up with GPU zero dead, GPU one dead, the hash rate was falling and it kept restarting. At least once a day it would restart. But if you come in here, I don't remember where I, I, yeah. So this is the, this is the big, the big secret. I hadn't really seen any videos on it either. Um, this is the, the overclocks for that XFX card. Um, you know, it's pulled back a little bit, not a lot. It defaults to 900 memory voltage, um, 2150 on the overclock uh, memory, uh, which is pretty conservative. Fan, I can just delete that. But this is a big thing, the AMD, uh, memory tweak reference um, dash dash reference 20. Um, this is a, a memory tweak um, and if you hover over the little question mark you can see for different for different players memories you have different reference commands. Um, same thing with uh, for the Vegas series cards you can um, add these commands in and it gives you different memory timings but the memory timings you know bring the wattage down quite a bit and I know it's in the software but even uh, I don't have a, a voltage meter or a watt meter, but um, the server power supplies, you know, they don't spin up nearly as high um, you know, once I put this this uh, memory timing in. And it's incredibly stable, you know. I don't, I think the last time I restarted this rig was when, uh, uh, last time I updated it, maybe, I don't know. But Anyways, uh, if you have any questions uh, or if you'd like to see anything else, something different, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.